Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a Fruit Ninja game using video sensing in Scratch. So what's going to happen is that the camera's going to be on and when it senses my hand moving it's going to be making the fruit into two pieces. So first thing we need to get a new sprite, go to food. We'll only be using one fruit so click the watermelon and get rid of the cat. Go to costumes delete the last costume so now what you have to do is do control A copy it paste it and then just flip it horizontally and just move it yep so that's fine that's the cut fruit now go back to the code section click here because this is like extension blocks to go to video sensing when this goes do 40 and what you want to do is change the costume watermelon B. Now we also want go to events go when green flag clicked we just put a show here and switch costume to watermelon A and what we also want to be creating a clone so go to control go repeat until we want to do we also want to wait wait point so wait we want to pick random block, pick random between 0.6 seconds to 1.5 seconds, not too much difference. Now we also want to create a variable called timer. So do this, we have timer and repeat until, go to operators, is less than. Um, so timer is less than zero and we want to go to control again and do create a clone of myself here and now what we want to do is that we want to set the timer so go to events I'm going to click set timer to 30 set timer to 30 and now what we want to do is that we want to repeat until the same thing as this so you can just copy this and get rid of this thing until under zero we want to do wait 0 0.1 second 0 0.1 seconds and then change timer by minus 0 0.1 so let's try that out yeah, now let's do it again. <laughs> yeah, see, it worked. And now, so it's not clo. Oh yeah, once it clones itself, we also want it to move around. So go to the um, control when I start as a clone, and go to motion, and go to random position. So we'll do that. So yeah. There's, it's cloning itself. Now what another thing we want is that it should hide once it does that. So simply just hide. See, because it even senses my head, so that's why it just but I have to try not to do that. <laughs> oh yeah, but we it's not working because we forgot to put a show here. So now here. Wait no, when no 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 wait actually I made a mistake. I'm sorry. So when I start as a clone, go to random position, and then once it gets hit, so then we have to hide. So now it will work. Huh. Huh. But it's not working. Okay, so we wanna add. We want to add a so we want to add a message. So it says broadcast message to. So what we want it to happen. So what we want it to happen. So it should do wait, but just before it hides, it should wait 0.5 seconds. So we act we can actually see the other costume. So. 
And then here you have to show it. One the first thing you do. And and we also want to do when we start at a clone, it should change the costume to watermelon A. So let's try that now. And then it hides, yeah. Okay, there might be a little too many watermelons appearing, so we're just gonna have to change this to one and this to two, and there we go. And that's about it. That's the whole game. I hope you found this really simple, and it's really cool feature in Scratch. And please like and subscribe down below. And that's it for today.